and good morning and happy soon to be Thanksgiving guys. Um, we are in it for second part of Runner Palooza today. We've turned the back room into Christmas Palooza. I know and I hate doing that before Thanksgiving because it's such a wonderful holiday. So we're just going to do a little bit of it. So sorry. So what we're going to do is you can see we kind of have things set up for you. We kind of have little little decoration on them so that you can see their potential because they're only tops. There is no, or there, I, mean, I won't say there's no, there's few finished ones. But we, get there. we did all of these in a week, so that kind of shows you. And that's what I'll get right out of the way now. I'm probably going to tell you on all of these, they're very super easy. That's what we looked for this time, is we looked for patterns that could be very easily achieved. Because, so, and let's face it, we've got a little, little over a month before gift giving gets around. But here. I would like to inter, inter, um, sub, yes. interpose, interject <laughs> at this point. Sometimes doing things, Christmas motifs, are more fun while it's Christmas season. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Give it after Christmas or make it for next Christmas. Right. It doesn't have to be done in the next month. But it can. But it can be but if you can. want. So let's start on the side of the table. So actually, these two patterns are a, not a set, but there's a pattern that's called on the table and then on the table too. Marty, I'm so, going to have you um, do me something. Could you... Um, we're going to stop for just a second. Sorry, we had to make a technical adjustment so Marty's head wasn't being chopped off. I can't, I'm she not that like talented. You just see me from here yeah. down. I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> not that this is so good, but anyways. Sorry, I wanted to sit at the table. There you go. So anyways, coming back to that, this is on the table and on the table too, and I can't remember which one is from which one. But the nice thing about these two patterns is that there's four different runners in each one of them. We only chose to do one from each one, but this one is called Winter Blues. So this would be more of a winter, not a Christmas, but it has a, this gorgeous snowflake pattern for the background. And I'll get this out of the way so you can kind of see what the whole runner looks like. They're not huge. They're only about a 12 by 30, I think. But And I don't remember prices on any of these guys, so we'll list those at the bottom. There's going to be links to each one of these runners as we go along. Okay. So that's winter blues. And then the one right here in front of me with a thread on it, this is called poinsettia stars. And again, same size as the other guy, but very simple. All you're talking about is flying geese, big and small, and you have three star blocks. I mean, it's a star and a star. That's all it is with a little half square triangle in the corner. But you can put a little, little decoration in it and it dresses it right up. The next one we have is a topper and it's called Check It Out. Check it out? Yes, check it out. And again, very simple. And the whole point behind this one is you just show off a really nice feature fabric. Our friend Diane made this for us. Mm -hmm. Yep, we called in the in the posse for this one to help us out because God knows Terry and I could not get them all done before this. <laughs> no, we couldn't. So anyways, again, dress it up with a little centerpiece and you've got a really great table decoration. And then this one was, again, made by one of the posse. And actually, Nancy. you can see that this one is actually finished. And it is called Oh My Stars. Right. And I this had to say it that thank way. You. <laughs> this is actually using the Strippy Stars the ruler. Strippy Stars ruler from Deb Heatherly. It makes these really super fine points that you can't mess them up. Um, the whole point behind them is she re if you can come in close to mm -hmm. this, she resets the points back just a smidge so that you never ever lop one of them off. And you can see there's a little bit bigger one there in the middle. But very nice traditional Christmas colors, nothing really. Got a little gold on it. Got, love it. On it. got a little bit of glitz. But again, throw a really nice centerpiece on it, and it's absolutely fabulous. You can actually put them on point on a table, and they are just lovely. So on a round table, you could put that easily See, on a round table. that's what I have at home, and that's yep. what I do. Easy, it works great. That's what it works great. And then the last one we have down here for this set is Mr. Frosty, for obvious reasons. Um, probably the hardest one about this guy is because just there's a lot of pieces and they're, you know, you've got one piece of this, one piece of that. So it's just, it means you have to, when you're cutting them out, label them. No yep. biggie deal. Get it's, some little stickers and you're good to go. It was not hard at all to put together. It's not all squares all. and rectangles. Yep. All squares and rectangles. So, and you can see right here in the middle, we have these really nice three little churn dash snowflakes going down through it. All right, so that's the first set. Let us pause. We'll reset and be right back. All right, ready for round two. So we have three new projects for you to, to show you. So this one you've seen before. This is evergreen. We did this last week with the Kitty Corner Ruler from Deb Heatherly. 
So you can see, I mean, it's a beautiful, nice little runner, put a little um, decoration in the middle of it. But remember, here is your kitty corner block right here. Remember, it's this unit that we're doing um, also out in the corner. So this one is evergreen. Very nice and traditional. Little cardinals in the border. Love the gold. Okay. This one is called Radiant Star. And it little, you know, a little bit different colors, but to me, this could go from Christmas all the way into winter. The cardinals are going to um, be very appropriate for the holiday. And the burgundy Oops, is really our great. calendar went, or our candle went. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Not everything is to size. <laughs> so again, put just something very simple on it. We need a bigger candle, yes. but this was all we had. This is not the time to get Christmas decorations out. So anyways, but... um so you get kind of the idea this is not decorating this is just giving you ideas yes <laughs> okay so this one was radiant star diane and, did that one didn't she uh yeah she did mm -hmm. and, and then this nancy. one is called holiday charms uh no sorry wrong lattice work this is lattice work with for obvious reasons this one starts with a charm pack and then all you need is that and the background and a little bit of border and you're good to go Again, very simple. All you're going to do is snowball to make units, and it's just putting them together into a block and then put your blocks together. Very, the very hardest, simple. The hardest part about this one, if you're like me, you never want two colors to be next to each other. Yeah. So laying it out was the agony. It was the agony. <laughs> and you can see the full full runner there. Very but nice. But it's very cute. Little ornaments, little Santas. Little, you know, this would be great if you have little kids in the house. Mm -hmm. Really great. Okay. No, wait, pause. before we do oh, that, let's do the ones behind you real quick. Well, they aren't runners. <laughs> I know, but they're, they're very festive as long as we okay. get them out. So this one is, what, a birds and poinsettia? This it's behind is? you. The kid is. Birds and poinsettia. Yep, a nice little lap quilt. It's got cardinals. It's got Cardinals gold. and ornaments and bows. And chickadees, I think, or those pine cones. I don't have my no, glasses on. No, there's a chickadee. Okay. No, actually, I think that's a female cardinal. Oh, that's a chickadee. There you go. Yeah. And then the one next to it. The perfect tree. Even though it says homegrown holiday on I it. I know, but those are both listed on the, in the lap quilts on the website. Yep. For the for the red truck lovers. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll be back in a sec. Ready? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, we're back for the third time. Promise, there's only one more past this guy. All right, so this next one is called, what did I just tell you? Holiday Charms. <laughs> Don't expect <laughs> me to remember. I threw them in my head and I was saying, pew, right out of there. Okay, so this one is more of a red and black and silver. It's a little bit more on the contemporary side. And it's called Charms because? Because you start with a charm pack. This was a, a Robert Kaufman charm pack called Holiday Scarlet Version. And you can see there's little candy canes. There's the holly leaves, the snowflakes. So again, this one would go through Christmas and into winter, definitely. Oh, yeah. And then I was just thinking some red beads on there would look Ooh, just I got really beads at home. wonderful. Look really wonderful. And then this next one is called Pine Valley Runner. Um, and for those of you that like paper piecing, this one is foundation pieced. So to get those really nice peaks and everything, because, I mean, look at those. Those are, like, perfect when you get into those points. Terry did a very good job. I do know how to paper piece. Yes, that's why I asked you See, to and do it looks it. much better right now because you really see that green. It's this real, one? yeah. Yeah. That see, is so pretty. In the pattern, they showed it in grays, like a white background with shades of gray for the trees. But I just, we just saw this one as a night sky with the pines on it so and again something very simple to dress it up just a little bit so that one's pine valley this next one is called floating peaks and i know it may look like it's really hard but this was like so super easy it was pathetic you do need a 60 degree triangle ruler for this guy but if you've done the border stripe table runners it's already in your arsenal at home so there's really you know nothing extraordinary past this and those gold things are not part of the pattern no they are not just those a are, little decoration you know how some people will strew like that little confetti, confetti foil, stuff yeah confetti. there you go yeah I, don't, I like picking these up more than i like picking those <laughs> up so um those don't get don't get caught in things so this is floating peaks it really i mean it took me probably all of an hour to put the whole thing together so it really after wasn't it was cut bad. out after it was cut out yep yeah, it really was easy 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 and then this last one this one we're going to talk very very easy this one is called christmas tiles and i'll 
switch this over a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Again, this is one of those designs that you have this really beautiful focal Christmas pattern, or it could be a patriotic pattern, or you could do Easter fabrics. I mean, really, you take a focal fabric and then you have some coordinates to go with it. This one will look even better because it's going to get the black binding on it and it will almost give it that stained glass effect. But what I did a little bit different on this guy is she has you just piece this traditionally like you normally would, but I did it quilt as you go. So I assembled the rows, and then what I did is I took some fusible batting, Please. adhered it, yep. or some batting, and ironed it onto my backing. Isn't that a gorgeous backing? Reversible. Um, it is reversible, yes. And then I, whatever this measurement was, I kind of gave it a little bit extra and marked a straight line on my, on my runner. And then it was a matter, you just laid this piece down and then you sewed that on top of it. Flip it out, add your piece, flip it out, and it was so easy. So now, except for a little bit of quilting in this part, this one's all done, just ready to be bound. So quilt as you go can be a really fun, especially if you're in a time pinch. So this one again is Christmas tiles. So give us a second. We'll be no, right well, let's oh. be. <laughs> let's do um to break up the um. The, let's do the little oh, things over on the over side. Here? Yes. Okay, just as a little aside, this is a little break from Runner Palooza. This was something that we just got in. Um, we ordered these a while ago, so we were really happy that they came in time for Thanksgiving because these are like the perfect Christmas gift for yourself or if you have a little gift to give for a quilting friend. These are called tumbler bowls, and as you can see, they're a ceramic bowl. Handmade These are in the all United States. Made in the United States. Yep. Missouri, to be to be correct. <laughs> to be specific. Yeah. And what it is is you can toss a little your pearl cotton, or you could actually put a spool of thread in there yeah, too. I should have gotten one. And the one. little twist has your thread coming out so that you're not chasing it across the living room floor. So that will hold it in there while you pull and cut off what you need. So these guys are twenty two. We will Dollars. ship them. And we have six different colors. Six different colors. So we there's have the, the black mat. This one is a purple, but you can see there's like a nice shading on oh, that guy. I like that. And then this one is almost like a glacier blue. It's really nice knit midnight blue. And then this one is a very nice barn red, but a little bit more matte. And then we have the pearl. That will go with everybody's. Yep. And then this one is the gold, bronze. Gold, bronze, antique, yeah. whatever you would yes. like. It's funny. There's almost a little shot of blue right down in there. That's really kind of cool. You they get are a little all, bit of it right there, too. Yeah, they're all absolutely fabulously gorgeous. And they are very, so well done. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so this is the last ones, guys. Um, this finish, this will finish up Runner Palooza for you for this year. For 2021. <laughs> You it is know, 21, you right? You never know what kind of palooza we're going to have next, though. Yeah. Um, so anyways, this one you've seen before. This is the maple leaf, and this was one of the Deb Heatherly Cat's Cradle Rulers. Or, no, not Cat. Kitty Corner. Kitty Corner. Kitty Corner. So again, you get that nice sharp point on the maple leaf. Very, very pretty batiks. And again, dress it up with a little bit of a... Compliments from our sister, Debbie. <laughs> Yeah, Miss Martha Stewart herself. Hey, she <laughs> likes candles in our house. Yes, she does. Yes, she Thank does. God they're all on timers now. So that one is Maple Leaf. This next one is called Starbright. And it's kind of the... See, I always think of it very reminiscent of like the Feathered Star. Is kind of what it reminds me of. But this uses, again, one of Deb Heatherly's rulers. This is the Cat's Cradle ruler. So it's going to give you this unit. And that's basically what the whole runner is made of is this guy and they're 100 percent perfect i mean the that's pretty <laughs> that those yeah, points are as good as they are and in there's really not a whole lot of bulk to it because that's what that does is it takes it um and eliminates a lot of that bulk so this one is star bright okay and last but not least and again this you saw this one last week um this one is the christmas stars so that's the kitty corner block again with some basically flying geese, long and the short of it. And Aunt Joan Santa um, on the, in the center. And yes, and if you, those of you who remember Aunt Joan, this was something that she made and Terry has it at her house for her holiday decorating. 
So that kind of finishes how um, Runner Palooza. All of these kits are going to be linked below so that you can actually look at them, get the measurements and the pricing on all of them. Every, th all, every kit that we have is going to have everything for the top, the binding, and the backing included. It just will not have the batting. And the pattern is included. And the in pattern it. obviously is included. I wouldn't send it to you without the pattern. It would just well, be we could do that. It would <laughs> not be silly. It would not, be, silly. It it would not be, be intentional. Yeah, it wouldn't be intentional. Anyways, so um, we're going to take next week off just because we are not going to have time next week to do any taping. so Because I got to bake pies on <laughs> Wednesday. So we're going to take a little bit of a break. So don't expect anything next Tuesday, but we'll be back with you the following one. Um, is there anything else that we need? Oh, patterns for these guys. We're not going to sell the patterns separately at this point. We're just going to do the kits. So um, that will hopefully answer questions as far as that goes. Okay. And we will be checking the email. So keep, you know, if you have questions, that's the best way to get a hold of us is pop us off an email. Yep. Okay. Okay. Happy, now, wait a minute. We can't say happy Thanksgiving, right? Yes, we can say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye.